Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're stuck in an automatic repair loop where basically it says preparing automatic repair on Windows 10 and you might have had a black screen after it finished going through and it might look like this. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by assuming that you're unable to boot into Windows. Now there are recovery options available that are built into the operating system that I recommend you try and access first before you download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility through Microsoft. And the way I recommend trying to do that would be to do a hard power off three times in a row. So basically turn on your computer, turn it off by pressing the power key on your laptop, tablet, wherever your computer is. And then just repeat that cycle three times in a row. So instead of going through any start menu like you would normally shut down or restart, you just want to press the button and do a hard power off. And if you get through a screen that says recovery, it looks like Windows didn't load correctly, like how it appears on my screen right now. You did a good job. You don't need to go download anything from the internet. Now, if this did not result in the screen that I'm referring to right now that you can see on my screen, I recommend you go online and download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and I will include a link to that in the description of the video where basically Microsoft will give you options to download a bootable Windows 10 ISO file to a compatible DVD or a USB flash disk and they make it very straightforward. They actually will download the utility onto your computer and they'll make the device bootable. You have to do at that point is put it into your computer when your computer is starting up and if you have to change your boot order options you might have to go into your BIOS settings which is different for every computer manufacturer generally would be the escape F2 key something along those lines and you want to change your boot order to boot off of the DVD or flash drive ahead of the hard disk because if you're booting off the hard disk that's obviously where you're experiencing the problems and you want to boot off of the DVD first and if you don't have to go in the BIOS settings and you have the ability to change your boot options without changing those settings you're more than welcome to, more power to you, and I would actually recommend that you do that so you don't have to go back into the BIOS later. And I have made numerous tutorials of that in the past. It's very straightforward, so you guys, I'd recommend checking that out if you're unsure how to do that. But I don't want this tutorial to be five hours long. So click on Advanced Options. So when you choose an option, you want to left click on Troubleshoot in the middle. You also want to click on advanced options again while you're underneath troubleshoot. So I recommend running some of these utilities here. You can run a startup repair to see if there's problems to keep Windows from loading. You could also run a startup settings to see different scenarios in which might be preventing you from starting up your computer. And if you have any system restore points you made, you can select them through here. And finally, you can also roll back to a previous build of Windows 10 by clicking on this button here. If we back out, to the previous screen. We can reset this PC by clicking on this button here at the top which will let you choose to keep or remove your files and then reinstall Windows. So I would try selecting that and then you have two different options here. You can either keep your files or remove everything. The first option will remove any apps and settings but will keep your personal files. The second option will remove everything. So I'd recommend trying the first option first. If that does not work for you, try the second option. But before you do either one of those, I would check to see if you have a system restore point already made on your computer and try and restore it back to an earlier time. And we can see that we do not have a restore point. And you can also recover from a system image file if you have one backed up on a DVD or USB device. There are commands that we could run through our command line window through this utility. However, I'm not going to really get into that in this video because it's pretty generic. But if you're experiencing a certain blue screen, I have covered several tutorials in the past where I do go through the command line window and run different commands that should hopefully resolve those individual problems. But this is just a generic tutorial trying to get into the automatic repair utility and just a good first step to take when you're having problems getting into Windows. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.